Michael and I grew up and we had no interest in being entrepreneurs. That wasn't something that really interested us. We wanted benefits and PTO and vacation and live in the American dream working for a large corporation. We went back to grad school to get our MBAs. While we were there, one of the classes that I was in was entrepreneurship and one of the assignments was to come up with some ideas that I could actually take to market and him being in medical devices and me being in marketing we thought well what if we could invent a medical device and that's really where it all began. This is us doing a little bit of R&D in our lab. This is the day we moved into our new office. This is some of our team. We always say that the two of us have an insatiable curiosity. Oh, yeah. Like when we, when we get interested in something, we both really dig into it until we become like self-experts on the topic, especially Michael. Having spent most of my career in the medical device world, I had never really had much experience in the wound care industry, but it was always something that fascinated me. About five million people every year die of bleeding. It's a huge challenge in the world right now. It's just something that I feel like we could overcome if we put our brains on it. We started researching everything we could get our hands on, on how to stop bleeding. We even tried cayenne pepper and tea bags and any kind of over-the-counter remedy that someone's grandma might have told someone and we found it on a blog. We went into our kitchen and took out our blender and started blending up these things and building concoctions. And we literally got out a razor blade and started cutting our fingers and putting these on to see if it worked. Our product is all natural minerals and that gave us peace of mind as we were cutting ourselves and putting it directly in our bloodstream. We absolutely felt like mad scientists when we were whipping this up in our kitchen. This here is really where it all started. These are my fingers and this is when I had cut them to see. Uh, on this one we put the powder inside of the bandage and on this one it's just a regular bandage. And um, this is when we were like, oh my gosh, it worked. After months of work trying to develop this, um, it was almost by accident that we actually came up with the compound that we did. We finally took it to a team of scientists and told them to reverse engineer it for us and tell us exactly why it was working. You know, it, it makes a great story. Oh, I made a mistake and we made this stuff and it works. Clot it works because of the nature of the two different components. One component causes cells, they form flocks or groups of cells. The other part activates factor 12. Factor 12 is part of the beginning of the cascade of reactions in your blood that's absolutely necessary for the formation of a clot. I was totally caught by surprise when it took between 15 and 30 seconds. I mean, that's, that's magic. this technology didn't happen because of some stroke of genius with us. It really landed in our laps and we took the opportunity to um, really explore it, commercialize it, and we're excited to see where this can go. Right now it's in a powder form and we're working on the FDA clearance right now for humans to be able to sell it for humans, but it is on the market for animals. So uh, we have tons of testimonials of veterinarians and pet owners and pet professionals who've used this. One of the moments when things really got real for us is when we got our first investor check. We started the company bootstrapping and we put all of our life savings in, which was $10,000 at the time. When we received our first check, it was $25,000. And we sat in the car and we looked at it and we were like, oh my gosh, this just got real. One of the things that inspires me to keep going is that I, I really want to make this money back for these people and to have them be financially successful because of this. And I know every penny that has been invested and it's, it's close to 2.5 million right now. 
There are pros and cons to being an entrepreneur and owning your own company. Uh, one of the great things is in the mornings we can take extra time with our kids. It's nice to be able to take a few extra minutes to do the things that are important. However, there is a downside in that like last night both of us were working until 1 a.m. For me the best part of this job is knowing that at the end of the day we've actually done something that that makes a difference. When you're with a big company, you don't exactly see the impact that you have on a daily basis. I envision this company as something much bigger with you know, our own facility and a lot of employees and a parking lot that's all ours and a flag out front. And like, I, I think about going to work for a large company that has a line of life-saving, blood-stopping technologies in animal market, in the human market, in the military, and that the entire world, I mean I know that sounds crazy, but that, that the entire world is using our technology to stop bleeding and save lives. All right.